All right, let us answer this question before us. It says, Michael decides to set up an annual music scholarship to fund the scholarship. He invests in a perpetuity that pays interest at a rate of 3.68% per annum. If Michael invests 50,000, how much will the scholarship pay out annually? So how much will it pay out annually? Well, this is where we have to understand what exactly a perpetuity is doing. A perpetuity pays out the interest generated on that money. So all we have to do is figure out what is 3.6% of $50,000. We also need to take into account the fact that this is, com uh, is paying out annually. So that's why we don't have to actually change that 3.6% per annum because it's already annual. We don't have to do anything else to it. We can use our formula here. So remember, we have a formula to figure out uh, how much a perpetuity will pay out. So there it is right here. So let's begin by just writing down this formula to help us out. So I'm gonna come here and I'm going to write in D is equal to R over N over 100, and then I'm timesing it by V of zero. Now, V of zero is my $50,000. My R is my 3.68. And the fact that I'm paying out annually means N is equal to one. So now I'll pop all that information in. I'm going to get 3.68 divided by one, divided by 100, and then I'm going to times it by 50,000. One, two, three. I'll now come to my calculator and put that information in. So I'm gonna go control divide 3.68 divided by one over 100, and then I'm going to times it by 50, one, two, three. When I do that, I'm going to end up with 1840. So that is going to be my, uh, my answer, 1840. That's how much is going to pay out. Let's now move on to the next one here. Let's read it carefully with our highlighter. It says, if Michael wishes to provide an annual scholarship of 2,500, how much should he invest? So how much should he invest in the perpetuity? So let's really understand what this is saying. Previously, it was paying out $1,840, and that's when we invested 50 grand into this perpetuity. We now want it to pay out 2,500 instead of this. So the question will be, how much will I have to invest in order to achieve this result? So I am again going to uh, use my formula that I did here. And don't you write this down, but let me just write it out again. Don't write this down, just look up what I'm doing at the moment, and I'm actually gonna do it up here. So don't write this down, we'll write it out neatly in a second. Let's just write that down. All right, let's now figure out what we know. It's always good just to kind of have it there and then figure out what you know. Well, what do I know? I know that this thing is paying out at $2,500. That's the payout, that's D. So I'm gonna come here and put in 2,500. Uh, I know what the R is, the R hasn't changed. It's still 3.68. My N hasn't changed, it's still one. What I don't know is the V of zero. How much should he invest? I don't know what that is. So what I need to do is I need to solve for V of zero. That's what I need to do. So let's do that. I might just go here. Therefore, V of zero is going to be equal to, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go menu three, one. I'm gonna go 2,500. I'm gonna set that equal to control divide. I'm gonna go 3.68 divided by one over 100. Instead of saying V of zero, I'm just gonna say times X comma X. And then I'm gonna do that, hit enter. And my answer is going to be, Oh, what is that? 67,934.7826 dot, dot, dot. Remember, write it unrounded, and then you can say, therefore, he should invest money symbol 67,934.78 dollars. That's how much he should invest. All right, the next one, it says, Michael decides that he can only invest a maximum of $60,000, okay? What is the minimum interest rate that will allow the 2,500 scholarship to be awarded indefinitely? Give your answer to four significant figures. Again, let's begin by writing down what our formula is for a payout or a perpetuity. So we're gonna go D is equal to R over N over 100 times V of zero. Don't write this out. Let me do it and then you can fill it out once we're done. What do we know? We know we want this thing to pay out at $2,500. So that's our little D there. So let's pop that in. So it's going to be 2,500. Well, can I do that a bit neater? Surely, 2,500. 
I don't know what N is. That's the thing I don't know. We're trying to figure out what the new interest rate is going to be in order to get 2,500 out. I know what N is, N is one, and I know that we can invest a maximum of 60K. So that means this V of zero is going to be 60, one, two, three. So now with this, I can now solve for R. So now I'm trying to solve R. Let me do this. Therefore, R is going to be equal to, so now, this is also where you want to be a bit sneaky with your CAS. What I would do is I would come up here, bring that down and say, all right, I know that this is 60,000, one, two, three. I don't know what my interest rate is. So I'm going to make that X. Now, when I do that, I'm going to get this. Remember to write it unrounded first, people. That's how you're going to avoid making silly errors. So we're going to get that. And then it says, uh, give your answer to four significant figures four significant figures. Um, all right, let's make sure we don't mess this up. It's going to be four significant figures. So that means, uh, therefore, interest rate will be uh, 4.1. Now, if I want this to four significant figures, I'm going to go 4, 1. It'll be 6, 7, won't it? 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4. Cool. 4.67% per annum, we can say. So that would be my answer for that one right there. So 4.167% per annum. And then if you just want to double check that this works, uh, because sometimes with rounding, you've just got to be careful with it. What we could do is I could just take this and I could say, all right, what is my answer when I do let X be equal to that right there? So if it's 4.167, I should get out uh, $2,500. If I do that, 4.167, if I hit enter, I get that. If I was to round down, let's see what happens. So if I was to make it 4.16, 4.166, I don't get it. So it does have to be 4.167% per annum. I always like to double check those things um, just to be sure within myself uh, that I've done it correct. And remember, we, even when we were in Finance Over, we've spoke about how we do that as well. Cool beans. We are all done there. Hopefully that has made sense um, and you've enjoyed that.